No, fuck you. What kind of therapist says you look like you gained weight? One with eyes. Why do you keep saying shit like that? Because it's true. No, it's mean. Yeah, but it's also true. Go fuck yourself. Trust me, I've tried. Wow. Are you married, Dr. Blaine? Nope. Do you want to know why I think you're not married, Dr. Blaine? Nope. It's because you're such a narcissist. What was the point of asking? And ever since they made that little documentary about you, it's gotten way worse. You're never gonna find someone who wants to marry you because every day your head gets a little bigger. And you're never gonna find someone who wants to marry you because every day you wake up, your stomach gets a little bigger. Fuck you! Watch a little cartoon shit, bro. Bro, that ain't no cartoon, dog. That's anime. Bro, that's a fucking cartoon, and the only cartoons I'm fucking with is uh, damn Family Dude and damn SpongeBob. Then what your dumbass wanna watch then? Cable TV? I ain't gonna hold you, but I bet it's better than that anime bullshit. Shit, turn it on then. My name is Ron Johnson Jr., and I'm the chief of the Schizophrenic Stalkers. What the fuck? Our job is simple. Stalk the schizophrenic. Calm down, Uncle Doug. No! There are government agents hiding in my walls right this second! This guy's good. Bro, you think this better than my anime? Bro, why are you always beefing me for no reason? That's one channel. Dive into the life of therapist Dr. Victor Blaine. Do you actually think I give a f In his all-new documentary, Brutally Honest. Whoa. Yeah, your documentary hard as hell, Dr. Blaine. We was thinking you could help us squash our beef. You guys want me to help you squash your beef? Hell yeah! All right, well, how long have you guys been dating? Dating? dating. Bro actually thinks we gay. <laughs> Still think we gay? Yes. Bro, we are not gay, bro. Then why did you guys sign up for couples therapy? Because we are a couple. Huh? A couple of straight dudes. Oh, that shit hard. Okay, well, what brings you two straight dudes to couples therapy? We just be beefing all day long, bro. Do you guys work together or something? Nah, but we be putting in work, though. <laughs> <laughs> so you're both unemployed? Yeah. Well, it sounds like you both have too much time on your hands. So what should we do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe get a fucking job like everyone else your age? <sighs> I don't really fuck with jobs, bro. You don't fuck with jobs? Not really my thing, bro. Well, it's never too late to go back to school. I mean, I ain't allowed around schools no more ever since the incident. Or playgrounds, because Ray don't play. All right, well, y'all got to do something with your lives. Wait, I got an idea. You thinking what I'm thinking? We should start a podcast! <laughs> please, please do not start a fucking podcast. Why not, bro? Hey, when we smoke, we be having some deep ass thoughts for real. Yeah, you don't think people will listen? You guys are paying me 200 an hour to listen to you speak. Clearly, no one is doing that shit for free. Dr. Blaine, your meeting starts in 45 minutes. Your hour's up, boys. What is up, YouTube? I'm Ray Sherman. And I'm Earl Carter. Our bitch-ass therapist told us ain't nobody gonna watch this shit. So hit that subscribe button to prove him wrong. Welcome to our podcast, Shower Thoughts. When I say age is just a number, I'm not just talking about high school shorties. The MILFs can get it too. Shower Thoughts. We all live on a floating rock in the middle of space, so it's like, it ain't no reason to be stressing about the little things. Yeah, I stole my grandma's debit card, but that ain't gonna matter when the sun explodes. Shower Thoughts. Sydney Sweeney. That's all. Bro, how is that a shower thought? Because I always think about it when I'm in the shower. Oh, bro. shit. Shower thoughts. Welcome to the future of therapy. Get some help. Get some help is your one-stop shop for virtual therapy. Virtual therapy? Yeah, think FaceTime, normal therapy, raw dog, no rubber, boom. Get some help, virtual therapy. Oh, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Corey Campbell, founder of Get Some Help. And to be brutally honest with you, I'm a huge fan. Look, I've even got a picture of you as my wallpaper. That's gay. Oh yeah, totally gay, dude. I just meant that ironically, like as an ironic joke. Anyways, ever since your documentary came out, you've been going viral. Your clients may hate you, but Twitter loves you. So here's our plan. We wanna onboard you as our celebrity therapist so you can take virtual sessions on Get Some Help. We project if we jump on this now, we can make a fuckload of money. And, and help people and stuff. What's in it for me? You'll be able to help so many more clients from all around the globe. 
And $6 million. I'm in. All righty, let's do this. On one condition. I refuse to tell even a sliver of a lie to my clients. Oh, of course, man. People want the truth. That's why we're onboarding you. Shake on it. Shake on it? Brother, it's 2024. Dab me up. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's do this shit. I just don't understand. Every time I start getting close with a girl, she just leaves me. I'm gonna guess the micro penis has something to do with that. Bro, what? I don't have a micro penis. But if you're gonna lie, at least remember to turn your camera off. Oh shit! I'm a huge fan of your documentary, Dr. Blaine. Thank you. So, um, why'd you book a session with me today? What's the issue? I don't know what my issue is, doctor. I just came here to show you these. All right, so that's called daddy issues. So my best friend caught me fooling around with his 16-year-old niece, and then, and then he tells me I need to do the world a favor and jump off a tall building. I just need to know what I should do. Take his advice. My biggest fear is a guy I love just using me for my body. Yeah, you've got nothing to be afraid of. Blaine, my favorite therapist. You know, I always tell everyone around the office, I wish I was fucked up in the head so I could have therapy with you. That's gay. I, I was joking, I was joking. I don't actually say that, I'm just pulling your leg. <clears throat> so, turns out investors are not too happy about your methods, so we're gonna just have to re-strategize a bit. I'm not lying to clients. What? No, I'm not asking you to lie, I'm just asking you to pivot. Pivot? <laughs> yeah, just pivot. You don't have to change your methods that much, just Fix the reviews or we're going to cancel the $6 million deal. You're a smart guy. You'll figure it out. Sabrina? I thought you hated me. Why, why'd you book a session? Because I want to be the bigger person here. If you stay on that McDonald's diet, you'll be the bigger person real soon. Dr. Blaine, I'm willing to let go of your fat phobia and give you a second chance if you apologize. Wait, please. wait, wait. Hold on. I swear you people make up new words every day. What the fuck is fat phobia? Uh, fat phobia is when you told me no guy will ever marry me if I keep gaining weight. Fat phobia is telling the truth? Fuck you, Blaine! Okay, what do you want me to do? Sugarcoat it? Oh, Sabrina, you have so much more love every time I see you. You should probably get a bigger pant size to hold all that new love. You know, I think sugarcoating the truth would be much better than you being such an asshole. Maybe you should try it sometime. If I tried sugarcoating the truth, you'd probably try to fucking eat it. That's kind of the problem here. So, um, you didn't pivot. Nope. Listen, Blaine, I'm rooting for you. I just need you to work with me here. I've been telling the investors, you don't want to fire this guy. Dr. Blaine is a legend, a pioneer, my hero. That's gay. I am not gay, and I wish you and my dad would stop saying that. It was one time, once, and I was really drunk. <clears throat> so here's the deal, Blaine. Either you're gonna start being nicer to clients, or I'm gonna take away your six million fucking dollar deal. You can stretch the truth a little for a couple years, and then retire to Miami, get a yacht, the whole package. Or you can go back to your own practice with clients who hate you for the rest of your fucking life. So what's it gonna be? So you guys started the podcast anyways. Hell yeah, and that shit went viral. Yeah, it's called Shower Thoughts. And that shit is the next big thing, bro. Millions of views. Mama, we made it. <laughs> Mama, we made it. Mama, we made it. Guys, this shit has four views. Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? Yo shit gotta be glitching. No, this, this is serious shit right here. I'm diagnosing you both with schizophrenia. Bro, we do not got schizophrenia, bro. Yes, you definitely do. Bro, how the hell would you even know? Because the schizophrenic stalkers are watching you guys, like, right now. Shit! We've been spotted!